Good afternoon, everyone. Welcome to another week of our Sociology of Disasters online course. So this week we were asked three questions. Question number one was, what was something you learned from this week's materials that perhaps you had heard about before in terms of researching, writing, but that you found useful revisiting again? So I wrote down the outline, um, processes on which parts of the paper go in certain sections because we needed to know the outline of how to make this paper. Format of the paper, which is basically the same thing as the outline, but what she is expecting. Um, how the slides and paper will be graded, because we all need to know how the slides and paper will be graded. Um, and each week led to the next step for our paper and slides, as in she told us to get some sources last week. Um, she wanted us to continue to move on with the paper and the slides, and to work on it each week. Word of the week for this week, I would say, is research, because that's what we are doing. We are doing research for our disasters, and my disaster choice was 9-11. So, and money point for this week, I, was, I wrote, how many slides do we create, or is there a maximum amount of slides that we need, and what is expected on the slides? I got a sort of understanding from the slides, the sort of slide demonstration that she posted, but uh, another one would be, can we see an example of the slideshow on how it's supposed to look? Uh, another question would be, what details are you truly looking for in your disaster slides and paper? As in, what content are you specifically looking for that we need to put in our paper? Um, finally, our last question was, if you had one tip of your own to share with the class in terms of setting yourself up to a great to get a great grade on a paper or presentation, what would it be? And my mine would be follow directions, follow everything she posted, reread them, review them, make sure you just got the directions down. Another would be that you need to start your paper ASAP, <laughs> um, so you can get the stress out of the way and not have to worry about that in all your other classes or your other parts of life that you need to worry about. Um, and another one would be ask any and all questions to clarify what is expected on this project. Uh, ask classmates for help and advice on what they, they can add to make it better or what they can do to fix it. And to follow your gut and don't second guess yourself. And finally, I would love for everyone to continue to review and revise their work. That is very important. Well, okay. Thank you for listening to my, my video. Have a great rest of your week. Thank you.